I'm Louise Lockwood. I'm the Retail General Manager for Presbury Travel. So I cover all of the, our branches in Poynton, Presbury, Hale and uh, Bramall. We've also got online with us this afternoon, Emma Bosworth, who is the Marketing Director for Presbury Travel and Presbury Worldwide Resorts. I'm sure many of you in the past have spoken to Emma with regards to uh, your Presbury Worldwide bookings. We've also got Dawn here from our Bramall office. And we have Rachel from our um, Poynton office. We've also got Stella Bosworth online. Stella is the owner of both Presbury Travel and Presbury Worldwide. Oh. Today's yeah. presentation, as you all know, is Riviera Travel, who cover river cruises and also touring. And for this year, they've also introduced a brand new UK product. Riviera Travel is a, an award-winning tour operator that has been established within the UK for many years. I'm sure many of you have heard of them. Some of you may have even travelled with them previously. River cruising is a product that I have a real passion for. Um, and the only reason I have a passion for it is because I went on a river cruise with Emma back in October 2019, just shortly, shortly before the world closed down and um, it really opened my eyes to a brand new way of traveling and a brand new form of holiday that I thought wasn't for me. Uh, so I'm living proof that river cruising is for absolutely anybody and it is a fabulous way to travel, taking a lot of different countries and a lot of different cities on the same holiday and um, basically have a fabulous time while uh, leaving all the responsibility to Riviera travel. So I'd like to introduce to you Emma Rogers, who is from Riviera Travel, and Emma will be looking after your presentation this afternoon. If I could just ask you all to mute your microphones, the majority of you are muted already, um, just so we can uh, allow Emma to take us through the wonderful world of Riviera and take us on a magical journey. Emma, thank you. Thanks, Louise. Hi, everybody. So I'm just going to um, share my screen now so that you can all see my presentation. So I'll keep it just one second. Louise, if you give me a thumbs up when you can see that would be fabulous. I'll just take a second. Yeah, we're there, Anna. Brilliant. So um, yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks, thanks for joining. It's um, it's great to see so many people um, that are interested in our fabulous holidays. So um, I'm going to talk about both our um, products today. So our touring and also our five star river cruise product. As Louise mentioned, she joined me on a river cruise um, last year. So if anybody is particularly interested in a river cruise, I'm sure Louise will be more than happy to answer um, any more questions that you might have after the presentation. Um, for, so just a quick reminder um, for those of you um, who might not be too familiar with Riviera Travel. So we're actually the UK's largest overseas escorted tour operator and we're now the largest river cruise operator in the UK. So we actually carry more British passengers than any other operator. Um, so we very much market towards the British market and I'll explain a little bit more about that as we go on. Um, as Louise mentioned before, we've been established now for over 30 years and we are multi award winning and which recommended. Um, and we do continue to win those awards and we're very, very proud of them. So I just want to give you an overview of our touring product. Product It is very, very vast. So um, 142 destinations. So as much as I would love to sit here and tell you about every single tour that we do, um, unfortunately, we just don't have time. So I'm just going to give you um, an overview about the things that you can ex experience on a um, Riviera tour and the inclusions that you would get. So very exciting for 2021. We've actually introduced new UK tours and and holidays. So we currently have 15 new tours. Um, we have our standard tour, which is the tours that our customers are most familiar with and um, love us for. We also have our walk and discover product and we also have our dedicated solo traveller tours as well that carry no additional single supplement. 
So as I mentioned, the standard tour is a classic um, style of escorted touring. So um, you're going to have all your excursions included. We're going to visit um, national trust properties, gardens, English heritage sites. And um, we're going to have beautiful heritage railway journeys, scenic drives, historic cities, castles and cathedrals, um, and also kind of um, food and drink experiences as well. So just to give you an example, uh, I'm going to use the Corn Cornwall Falmouth Bay in St Ives. Um, so this one, for, for those of you that are familiar with, with the area, um, you'll know it is very much about the food down there. So there's lots of Rick Stein restaurants and we make sure that we allow free time so that actually you can have some time away from the group if you do want to experience one of, one of the fabulous restaurants in the area. Um, you're always going to have the tour manager with you as well. Um, we're always going to use um, four star accommodation, always going to be centrally located um, within walking distance from the main railway stations and the hotels that we've chosen as well will have either reduced rate parking or free parking as well. Um, but for example with the Cornwall I mentioned about the food and drink so we include an, um, an afternoon cream tea so we obviously couldn't go to this part of the world without including that um, but yeah a really fabulous itinerary and um, kind of when you arrive there's some free time but the tour manager will walk you into town and so that you you can get familiar. We've got beautiful scenic drives on this one as well. So a, a really popular itinerary that's selling, in, selling quite well for us. And then we've got the walk and discover. So these are going to be the same concept as our standard tours, but we'll actually include two half day walks per tour. So these are easy walks to ensure that they remain accessible for everybody. Um, so, for example, I've used the Walk and Discover Lake District for this one. Um, so we will have a local walking guide who will take you um, a kind of along the walk around Buttermere. So the walks tend to be anything up to five miles. Um, again, not too strenuous. If you own a pair of walking boots, then you will be absolutely fine. So we're not going to take you hiking up, up the mountains or anything like this. So with this one, we stay in Kendall. Um, we've got beautiful um, uh, ride al along the lakes on this one as well. Um, we go into Windermere, this free time in Windermere. As I mentioned, we always want to make sure that you, you know, that you can have some time away um, from the group as well and maybe experience um, something, I don't know, like the Beatrix Potter Museum, for example. We know that everybody's tastes are, are different, so it just allows you to kind of tailor, tailor the holiday a little bit more to, to your liking. So with our European city breaks and tours, we have a fabulous selection of single centres, um, multi-centres and of course our um, three night city breaks as well. So just to give you an idea of the city breaks that we do, we've got Krakow and um, we've got Paris and Bruges by rail and we can do regional rail add-ons with those as well. And um, we've got the likes of Prague and um, we have a shorter um, Bologna, Parma and Ravenna. Um, and then our multi-centres, so for example, something like the Italian Lakes, um, where it might be split, where you have four nights in one destination, and then you move along to another destination for, for three nights, but we will pro provide the, um, the, the coach transfers. The tour manager will be with you the whole of the way, so there to hold your hand and take care of you so that you can just really sit back and, and relax and, and enjoy our holidays. Again, we're going to use mainly four-star accommodation, all centrally located. So I did our Bologna, Parma and Ravenna about two years ago, and the hotel that we stayed in is literally right in the heart of Bologna. Um, and if you step outside the front of the hotel and you turn right, there is just an abundance of, of restaurants. So that kind of tour we're going to do on um, room and breakfast only. So that it means that you can go out and experience all the beautiful restaurants. So Bologna is, is known as the food capital of Italy. So um, we take all these things into consideration to ensure that you can really experience and, and uh, get to know the destination. So we'll always include the transfers from the either the rail station, depending on the tour, 
or from the airport. So the Riviera tour manager will be there waiting for you. Um, and yeah, so then just to let you know as well, obviously times are, are a little bit strange at the moment, but all of our UK and European tours that are currently on sale will operate as small groups. So there'll be no more than 25 guests so that we can allow for social distancing. So generally we would use a 50 seater coach for this to ensure that we can make sure that we've got the gaps in between um, the seats and everything. So our worldwide tours, again, we've got, you know, everything from the USA right through to, to New Zealand. Um, again, you're gonna have everything included on our tour. So that's gonna be your flight from the UK. Um, the services of the tour manager, all your excursions are going to be included and um, we'll make sure that we allow for free time as well because we're obviously we're aware that some of the destinations that we visit such as New Zealand you know it, it, it is a long journey so we want to make sure that you have that downtime as well so we definitely make sure that we, we allow for that. But just to kind of give you an idea of kind of some bucket list destinations that, that are booking for um, kind of later on in 2021. Um, and we do have a select 2022 dates um, on sale now as well of our New Zealand tour, India, um, Japan, South America, Canada, and South Africa are really, really popular. Um, but we have a lot of um, like the deep south in, in the USA. Um, we've got Vietnam and Cambodia. We've got a journey on the Mekong. So um, we, we, whatever, <laughs> whatever that you can think of, the chances are that we most definitely do it. Um, and it's just very much about kind of everything that you're going to get included with, with Riviera. So I also just wanted to tell you about our new for 2021 private tours. Um, so this is going to be the same fabulous itinerary that you'll be used to travelling with Riviera, but this will be by private car and you will also have like the local guides to yourself as well. So depending on the itinerary, they will either travel with you or your driver will take you to each destination and you'll be met by a local guide there. But this just allows you to have a little bit more flexibility. So we currently offer these on Vietnam, Cambodia, Rajasthan, the Taj Mahal, um, Sri Lanka, India and Shimla, Ecuador and the Galapag Galapagos and Jordan and Petra. So if anybody is you know, really dying to, to do a long haul, but, you know, they're a little bit worried about social distancing, etc. then, you know, you can do these ones by, by private tour. And I'll just give you an example. So for Sri Lanka, um, what you could do is, um, I, I've actually cl climbed Sigiriya Rock. So I did it first thing in the morning. I actually did it as a private tour. So the beauty is you can arrive early when there's no crowds, you can climb up and you can be back down at the bottom of Sigiriya Rock before kind of dinner time when the, when the sun is really, really hot. So these are kind of like the differences and the, the flexibility that you would experience on our private tours. And um, so now on to our five star river cruise product. So. I'm just going to go over exactly what you, you're going to get included with a Riviera River Cruise. So you will have a choice of cabin or suite, and I'll talk about those a little bit more. Um, we include all the meals, so from early risers breakfast through to midnight snacks. Again, you're going to get all your excursions included, and you're going to have the expert local guides. You're going to have the services of the cruise director and cruise concierge throughout the whole of the cruise. And then you're going to have all the, the staff on board. So all English speaking staff are available 24-7. Um, and as I mentioned to you, um, we market to the British market. So all of our cabins um, include tea and coffee making facilities. So it is a proper Nespresso machine, it is a proper kettle. So this is something that we know that is extremely important to us, us Brits. We, we like to have a, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee in the morning before we kind of get ready to, to head down for breakfast. 
but also as well tea and coffee and water is complimentary um, on the river cruise as well and we also have complimentary wi-fi which is available in all of the cabins as well so you can call call home call the kids call call the grandkids and uh, boast about your fabulous journey that you're on so introducing our fleet. So this is a picture of our main um, bar area. So the saloon area. So we've got beautiful big windows here. Um, we have pre and post dinner drinks in here. Before dinner, we serve canapes. We have afternoon tea in here every day at four o'clock. This is where the entertainment would be in the evening. But during the day, if you just want to kind of sit here and enjoy a glass of wine or, or maybe, you know, read a book. So it's all table service as well. Um, so you don't, you don't even have to move any, anywhere to get a drink. So taking a, a closer look at our cabins. So we have our lower deck. So these are our lead in cabins. So there are no inside cabins on a river cruise, um, but this is solely there for letting light in. So it is a fixed window, um, but really spacious, 172 square foot. We've got some of the largest um, cabins out, out on the river. Um, we've got beautiful Crabtree and Evelyn products um, in our bathrooms as well. They're all air conditioned and we have the safe in there as well and um, the hairdryer and of course the tea and coffee making facility. So um, I'm sure you'll agree that it's um, not, not too shabby for a, for a leading cabin. And the cabins can be either a double bed as pictured there or we can split them into twins as well. So our most popular cabin type is the French balcony cabin, which is 183 square foot. So um, this is the cabin type that Louise had when she joined me last year. Um, so really beautiful, big window, floor to ceiling windows, which you can open right up. And you've got the table and chair there as well. So if you wanted to maybe you know sit there and enjoy a, a cup of coffee or a glass of wine, um, either while we're sailing or we're moored up, then it's really nice nice to do that. Um, and again, you've got all the air conditioning, hair dryer, safe, etc. in there as well. So we have our superior suites, um, which are larger in size again. So these are 247 square foot. So these are at the, um, at the front of the ship. Um, and again, beautiful floor to ceiling panoramic windows. Then we have our deluxe balcony suite. So, so these are huge actually, so 269 square foot. Um, and these have the full balcony that you can actually step out onto, which you can see from the picture there um, and with the deck chairs. So, so actually these are really, really popular. Um, we have, there's, well, there's just four actually. So there's two on either side of the ship. So if you are particularly interested in, the, in this cabin type, then I would suggest kind of booking early so that you can actually choose the, the cabin and the side of the ship that you, you want to be on. Um, the beauty as well with booking with, with Pressbury Travel is, um, is, is the price parity. So um, if you were to book, you know, this week for a a 2022 river cruise um you know come january next year february next year we're not going to slash the prices so um press travel going to guarantee that you, that you're going to get the the best prices um by booking early and the advantage is that you get to choose the exact cabin that that you want as well so beautiful bathroom so a big walk-in shower um really really spacious as well so um the, they've got the, the shower head in the in the roof as well and then the, the shower head that you can see the standard one so this is the lounge looking from the opposite direction um so this is where afternoon tea would be set up and you can see we we have a piano there so really nice in the afternoon when you're having your afternoon tea um there'll be a a pianist um, playing um, and then kind of evening entertainment pre-dinner drinks while the canopies have been served so it's just a really really nice atmosphere on board um, and as I mentioned because um, we carry the most British passengers one of the things that I, I really noticed or that I do notice on board is that it's very very sociable um, because there isn't any language barriers so everybody can talk to, to everybody which is it just creates a really really nice atmosphere on board. 
So as I mentioned, all your excursions will be included. So in your cabins, you will have one of these. So a box box or a whisper they refer to. So it's actually a Bluetooth headset. Um, so these are yours for the duration of the river cruise. So when you're out on your, your, your excursion with the local guides, so we break them down um, into smaller groups. Um, but if you were at the back, maybe taking a picture or, you know, looking at these beautiful buildings here, and the guide was in front of you, you can always hear what's going on because you're going to have this Bluetooth um, earpiece as well. So th these are a really fabulous things. I know kind of in the past I, I've done tours where a, a guide kind of just shouted at a, a big group and I've kind of ended up just walking off because I, I can't hear a word that's been said. So, so these are absolutely fabulous. Then up on the top decks, we've got lots of sun lounges. We've got lots of, of deck chairs. There's a little um, pitch and put here. We've also got the little plunge pool as well. Um, but yeah, definitely when we're, we're sailing along, this is where you're going to spend most of your time, um, kind of up on the on the deck, maybe with a with a coffee or a, a, a glass of wine as well, just soaking up the sun and relaxing. So we have a hairdressers on board as well. We also have a spa. So if you, you know, after a, a day of walking around Vienna, you want to have a nice massage, then um, you can book, book with the hotel reception on board. We also have the use of bikes as well on board. So these are complimentary. So um, really, really lovely, especially along like the Rhine rivers, um, you can, kind of take them into the little towns, ride around the cobble streets. So I've done this a couple of times. Um, it's just a really nice way to see the, the little villages and explore. So this is our, our lobby area here. So we do have a lift on board. So the lift just goes between the, um, the decks. It doesn't go up onto the sun deck. Um, so just to make you aware with river cruising, um, you can be sometimes doubled or triple moored, especially in the bigger cities. So um, the likes of Vienna, for example. Um, so you, I often get asked the question just about mobility. So um, obviously, if anybody has any um, questions a little bit more in depth of this, then obviously, let please let Louise know and I, I can speak to you. Louise in a little bit more um, depth but also Louise has experienced it as well and um, you might have to go up um, over up onto the sun deck over the sun deck and then down through the other um, ship so you need to be able to walk up so six steps a break and then another six steps and it does have a double handrail as well but if anybody has it um, would like to you know a little bit more about kind of mobility etc then you know please get in contact with Louise and uh, we, we can talk to you a little bit more about that. So this is our main restaurant so breakfast lunch and evening meal um, are served in here so things are just a little bit different at the moment so we would generally have a free seating free dining policy uh, but just obviously with new um, restrictions and the, and the way of the world at the moment, um, we will have um, reservations and we will have different settings to allow for social distancing in the main restaurant. Obviously, as things change and as the different countries' regulations change, then obviously we will come in line with that. But it means that it is all table service um, and it... Um, in an evening it would be a la carte but lunch and breakfast would now also be served a la carte as well so it's great because it means that you can just sit there and be waited on hand and foot which is which is brilliant we also have our bistro so this is included in the cost of our river cruises so there is no cover charge for this restaurant so it is open for lunch and evening meal and it is a la carte for both. Um, but obviously now, again, reservations would just be required at lunchtime. So reservations have always been required for an evening, um, but they would be required now at lunch. But all this will be taken care of for you when you board the ship. So when you check in, this will all be sorted for you so you don't have to worry about anything so that the reception the guys at reception will take care of everything for you so breakfast room service so this is a complimentary service that we offer so it's a continental breakfast so if you have the balcony cabins or the french the french balcony cabins um, this is a really nice thing to do kind of 
and uh, you know especially you know summer it, looking over the beautiful Rhine River for example you can open up the windows and have a have a lovely breakfast um, if you wish to do so so um, a complimentary service which is um, you know just to make your holiday a little bit more special as well. Um, gratuities so again just kind of going back to marketing to the British market and um, we all know a kind of you know gratuity it, it's not our culture even though it kind of is becoming a little bit more the norm now um, but the way that it works on our river cruise ships is if you feel that you have had good service and you would wish to leave something at the end then you are more than welcome to do that so it's completely discretionary and any gratuities that you leave are divided by all the staff on board equally. So for any um, solo travellers that we have, we do have a dedicated um, solo programme with River Cruising, but also as well on, in addition to that, we sell up to five cabins on the lower deck of every sailing that we have um, at no additional single supplement. So for example, the leading price next year, so 22 for the Blue Danube, is 1519 per person. If you were a solo traveller in this cabin, you would pay 1519. So there would be no additional supplement to pay. So um, yeah, it's something again that it's that you know our customers really, really love about us. So if you've got two friends that are traveling who might not want to share a cabin, then this is perfect for them. So just um, a little bit more about kind of where we can take you. So um, we cover all the main rivers, but I just particularly wanted to kind of give you a quick overview of three of our, our most popular. So the Rhine and the Moselle for me, so this, this was my first ever river cruise that I did. So I guess it holds a, a, a little special place in my heart really, but I think that this is a fabulous first time river cruising because I, 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 if you are an ocean cruiser looking to come across to river, I think this really showcases just what river cruising is all about. This is the kind of scenery that you're going to see. The beauty of a river cruise is you're always going to have something to see. When we're moored up, you're moored up right in the heart of these little towns. So you can see the little mooring there. You literally walk up to the road and you're right in the heart. So it just really showcases just how special and about, you know, these, these places that you see um, that are real traditional kind of towns that ocean cruisers just can't get to or you might not be able to see on a, on a city break um, but yeah absolutely beautiful scenery really relaxing if you're into history um, and obviously wine then this is the the perfect perfect um, itinerary for you on this one as well we, we will be moored up a little bit more overnight so after you've had dinner this means that you could get off the ship and maybe have a drink in a local bar, for example. Burgundy and the River Rhone. So again, beautiful scenery. Um, very much about the, the food and the wine. It's France, of course it is. Um, a really fabulous itinerary to take the bikes off and ride around the little cobbled um, streets here. Um, but absolutely st stunning scenery again. Um, so if you're into food and wine um, and history again on this one, this this will be a perfect one. Maybe if you've already experienced the German rivers. And then our top selling um, river cruise, which I have done twice now, and this is the one that um, Louise joined me on last year. Um, I can 100% see why it is our top selling river cruise. I mean, if you're into city breaks, then this is the perfect one for you. You've got your iconic um, uh, Budapest. Bratislava, Vienna, um, Salzburg as well. So if you're a Sound of Music fan, it's, it's well worth the trip over to Salzburg, which is included with us. Um, I think as well with this one, just the contrast of the, the countries, um, you know, once you kind of hit um, Austria, you just see a massive change in the landscape. Um, you've got Bratislava, which is a really interesting destination. Um, the guides that we use have lived through the communist days, so they're actually telling you about their own experiences. The, the castle that you see on the, the hill here, so this is the medieval side of the town. 
And when you look across the river, you're going to see all the eastern block buildings. So you just get a real contrast. It's just a really, really interesting um, itinerary for the, for the history and you know, obviously Sound of Music and Vienna for the, um, just all the great big buildings and great big monuments. So it, it, it's just really fantastic. And actually there is the option as well if you wanted to, to do a Budapest um, extension at the end. But what I always say to people um, who do this itinerary, and um, we did it when Louise joined me, is when we're sailing out of Budapest in the evening, you have to 100% go up onto the sun deck because we sail past the parliament building and it's just absolutely magnificent. It just looks it, absolutely stunning. Um, and then when we come back into Budapest, you see it again during the day. So you get to see it in, in both lights. But for me, seeing it in an evening when it's all lit up is, is, is just absolutely fantastic. And I always say the same to anybody who does our, our Rhine cruises as well. When we leave Cologne in the evening, you've got the cathedral in the in the background all lit up and it just it just looks stunning. It's just a fabulous way to, to start your holiday as well. Um, just up on the top deck there with a, with a glass of Prosecco. So I'm just going to show you now a video. Hopefully it will play OK and you'll all be able to, to hear it. So this is um, our Thomas Hardy. So this is the ship that myself and Louise were on last year. Um, and this is on our Danube itinerary. So hopefully this will just bring to life um, a little bit about kind of our life on board. And you can see for yourself just how beautiful the ships are. So I just want to tell you about a, a offer that we have currently when you booked with, with Pressbury. So um, book by the 28th of February this year um, and it's valid for 2021 and 2022 European river cruises. So any seven night European river cruise you will receive 100 euros on board credit per person and any of our 14 night European river cruises, you will receive 200 euros per person. Um, so, you know, if you if you're looking to do a river cruise in, in 2022, if you're you know, you're happy to to pay a deposit, which is 250 pounds, you can you can lock in that on board credit if you book by then. But also as well, obviously, hopefully, you know, you might be looking to do one um, towards the end of this year as well. 
Um, also as well, I just wanted to point out um, for bookings made um, for 2021 by the 28th of February. So we actually have our holiday happiness guarantee. So at Riviera Travel, we are guaranteeing that you will have the best, safest holiday with us. And if you are not happy, by day two, we will fly you home or bring you home and we will give you a full refund. We're also offering fully flexible bookings so you can change your holiday um, for no admin fee up to 45 days before travel. So if somebody is looking to book a river cruise for 2021, um, I mean, you know, fingers crossed, in a few months, things are going to be back to normal. But if anything was to happen, and for example, you know, you'd booked a river cruise for, I don't know, May or, or June, and you think, do you know what, I just want to push that back maybe a little bit to September, as long as you do that in the 45 day window, you can absolutely do that, no questions asked whatsoever. So um, quite, quite a strong message um, fr from us. I think, you know, um, you know, we're very, very confident with everything that we, we've got in place at the moment that we're, you know, we're going to keep you safe um, and happy on a, on a Riviera holiday. Um, so I've just popped um, the contact numbers for Pressbury Travel. So you've got Pressbury Worldwide um, and the number at the top and also just the numbers for each of the Pressbury stores. So um, I know that the guys are ready to take your calls and answer any, any questions. And I'm sure Louise would be happy to tell you about her river cruise experience. So thank you very much, everybody. And thanks for joining us. It's lovely to see so many people and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And we hope to see you on a Riviera travel holiday soon. Thank you, Emma. And as Emma's video said at the last minute, what better way is there to discover Europe?